I'll take you on a trip, he said, we'll have a holiday. We'll be with Mother Nature and laugh and sing and play. I want to get away, she said, I want to get away. I wonder where we'll go, she said, I wonder where we'll go. I'll look around the world, he said, I'll search both high and low. The prettiest is Dorset, it has so many charms. We'll walk across the hills and dales and look at all the farms. Sing that, Keith. Why not? It doesn't sound right. Um, I put you to sing. We'll walk across the hills and dales, linking each other's arms. Well, that doesn't scan. Hello, good afternoon. afternoon. My name's Mr. Pratt. I phoned Mr. Beale on the 21st of March. Shall I park over there? Yes, do. Thank you. Now oh, then, Candy Marie, you stay here and I'll go across and check in at the office. I no, won't be long. I'll come across with you. Now, you stay here and mind the things. Don't touch the ignition key. I want to come with you, Keith. I'd prefer it if you stayed there. Now, I won't be long. Nice day. Yes, isn't it? Yes, we stopped off at Winchester, had a look at the cathedral. Did and... my father tell you about paying in advance? No, he didn't mention that. You have to pay in advance. Two adults? Yes. One car? That's right. One tent? Yes. And you're staying for how many nights? Ten nights. That'll be ten pounds. Oh. Uh, ten pounds camping. Right. Now. Yes, ten pounds, exactly. Now, I have to sign here, do I? Yes, I'll give you a receipt. Thank you. Uh, what's the date? It's the 21st. 21st. And your name is? Mr. Pratt, K. Pratt. Pratt. We have a daily delivery of eggs, milk and bread, if you'd like to place an order. Are the uh, eggs free range? No. And the milk is pasteurised? Yes. Yes, well, we have our own bread, and we won't be needing any deliveries, thank you. Croydon, Surrey. Lavatory, sink, wash hand, basin, showers, and somewhere to dry your clothes. Yeah? Oh, this is my wife, Mrs. Pratt. How do you do? Now I'll show you the toilet box. Gents on the right, ladies on the left. Hello. And Hello. hot and cold water. And we can do our washing up down there, can we? Well, no, there's taps all over the campsite. I see. And can we pitch our tent anywhere we like? Yes, providing you keep your car to the gravel. Enjoy your stay. Make sure the colours are right. Right, now pass green into me. Green. Yes. Stage seven, fly sheet. That's it, over the top. Now, locate the islet, Candice Marie. It's a lovely key. Yes. Right, what's next? Now, stage eight. You put the kettle on, and I'll peg out the fly sheet. Right. That looks just like a watch key. Yes, different function, of course. Simply tells you how far you've walked. There we are, just as I told you. We have our own little nest here. Mm. Do you want to hear my new poem, Keith? Yes, I'd love to. A gentle flower that grows in spring, that feels the sun upon its face. It's free to smile and laugh and grin. It knows no guilt or hate or sin. It has no battles it must win. Oh, how I love and envy him. Oh, it's quite simple. It works on the same principle as an ordinary thermometer. It contains mercury. The only difference being that there are two sets of readings, one for the maximum temperature and one for the minimum temperature. What's that, Keith? Oh, it's a little magnet. One uses it to reset the metal indices. Mm. The important thing, of course, is to maintain a dietary balance. Mm. We're having our protein in the beans, aren't we? That's right, bodybuilding proteins. And cheese at lunchtime and we're having haricot beans for our evening meal. Mm. Are we having salad for lunch? That's right. What's the treat? Yes. Raw mushrooms. That's right. Mm, my favourite. 
And onion and nut roast for supper. Boiled jacket potatoes. Vitamin, vitamin C, C in, in their, their skins. skins. Yogurt to follow with cocoa at bedtime. I'm very happy, Keith. Yes, yeah, so am I. Good night. Good night. Guess prudence. Good night. Look at that! Corf Castle! Hmm. The castle was besieged by Cromwell and his treacherous forces. Where's the dungeons, Keith? What? Where, where are the dungeons? Well, why do you keep on about the dungeons? I want to know where they are. You seem to have a morbid interest in where the dungeons are. Don't you? I want to know where they are, that's all. Come along. You should stop rushing, Keith. Look at that view. Look at that. That's wonderful. What's that, Keith? What? That. Oh, that's number four. Ah, there's number 11. Now, that's the King's Tower. Wish I had the guidebook, Keith. What? Why? How am I supposed to know what all these numbers are? Well, I'm telling you, aren't I? Now, there's number 8 over there. This is the Queen's Tower. of years ago. Yes. All the sort of uh, kings and queens walking about in all their fineries. Yes. And eating uh, great bowls of fruit and luscious grapes. And drinking wine out of golden goblets. Must have been lovely. Look at this view. Brown Sea Island, Round Island, the Lakeland of Dorset. Pity about the power station in the background, never mind. There are the Heaths, Newton Heath, Remstone Heath, Witch Heath. Disused railway line going up to Wareham and the great nimbo cumulus rising above it all like great puffs of cotton wool. All this rubbish, Keith. What? It's awful. Look at those tin cans. Mm. Just imagine, Keith, if all the people who lived here could come back. It's all these crisp bags and sweet papers. Mm. They're horrified, wouldn't they? Uh, they find it difficult to comprehend all the changes that have taken place in the world. I think they do come back, Keith. What? They're ghosts. No. There's a car going up the B3351. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Very nice. Come on in. Come on, no. And the hands on a ticket item. And the hands on a ticket item. And the hands on a ticket item. Good morning. Good morning. I'm trying to get hold of some untreated milk. Oh, yeah? Do you have any? About 400 gallons. Well, could you sell me some? No chance. Well, why not? That's illegal, isn't it? Sorry? It's illegal. Against the law, not allowed. Well, we can buy untreated milk in our health shop at home. Oh, yeah, well, that would be because it's from an accredited herd. They got a license, I haven't. What's wrong with your herd? There's nothing wrong with my herd. Not with the milk. Drink it myself. So there's the wife, all the kids, everybody on this farm. Well, why can't we drink it? It's all sent off for pasteurisation, you see. We sell through the milk marketing board. That's not very good for it, is it? Well, pasteurisation? I was under the impression it reduced the nutritive value. Oh, that's all bollocks, huh? No, it doesn't affect the protein content at all. No, it just kills a few bugs, stops a few diseases, you know, TB, brucellosis, salmonella. Well, surely it would be better to have an accredited herd in the first place, instead of a herd that's full of all those dreadful diseases. Well, I trust my cows aren't full of dreadful diseases. At least I hope not. None of us dropped dead yet. You know, if people like you want to spend a bloody fortune on untreated milk, well, I'd go accredited. Just a question of economics. Yes, well, economics are at the root of quite a few of the world's problems. Well, uh, society gets what society wants. Thank you. Thank you. You people like to pay me a fortune for it, I'd go accredited. Keith? Hmm? No. You know, you always tell me to chew everything 72 times. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think that can be right, because, um, for instance, you're chewing nuts now, and they have to be chewed 72 times because they're very hard. But earlier on, I was eating mushroom, and I only got as far as 31, and it slipped down my throat quite naturally. So it doesn't always have to be 72 times, does it?
And the important thing is to uh, use your discretion. Hello. You have to tell him, Keith. What are you going to say to him, Keith? Excuse me. Are you listening to your radio? No, not really. Would you mind turning it off then, please? Honestly, Keith, if this carries on, it's going to ruin my holiday. I don't know how you can sit there and read books, Keith, with all this row going on. Well, if you don't tell him, Keith, I'm going to have to go over myself. Keith! Excuse me. What? Look, I hope you don't mind my saying this, but we've come down here to get away from the hurly-burly of town life, the hustle and the bustle of living in an urban conurbation. We've come to be in the peace of the countryside. Now, if you don't mind my saying so, your radio is rather disturbing that peace, and I think it's only fair to ask you either to stop playing it or to move your tent. Well, if you don't like it, why don't you move your tent? Because we were here first. So what, I pay for the campsite as well as you? There are other things in life apart from money. One should have consideration for one's fellow creatures. Exactly. We didn't bring our radio because we didn't want to cause noise pollution and disturb other campers. Good for you. You're not being very fair, you know. Oh, do us a favour, missus. Look, everything was peaceful until you came along. Grand over there, which means the weather readings will be slightly different. Not fair, Keith. Why should we have to move our tent? Well, you have to be decisive at times like these. Need to get south, Keith. Come along.
Where are we going tomorrow, Keith? Along the coastal path. I hope it's not raining then. Oh, well, it'll only be a shower, I should think, if it is. Probably be over by tomorrow anyway. How far is it along the coastal path? Oh, it's a few miles. How many miles? Well, uh, five or six. Hope it's not more than five or six, Keith. Come along. Keith, wait for me. How far have we come? Oh, there we are. You can see we started at Kimridge Bay, came along the coastal path above the Kimridge ledges with their fingers stretching out into the sea, over Egmont Point, round Chapman's Pool, and here we are at St Alden's Head, sometimes known as St Alden's Head. And how much further have we got to go? Oh, not far. Now, that's what we call a limestone outlier. It's made of Portland stone, as found on the Isle of Portland. Of course, some people think that Portland stone is only found there, but it can be found on the mainland here, and vice versa. Look at that boat, key. You're not listening, Candice Marie. Hello? Sport some milk, Keith. Yes, I know. I'll be able to wear these tomorrow, kids, climbing on the rocks. No, boots are for hiking. We'll wear our plimsolls for clambering about the rocks, our sandals on the beach, and our boots for tramping the path in the afternoon. We can't take three types of footwear, Keith. You need the right tools for the job. What's he doing, Keith? Oh, I don't know. Probably thinks he's a geologist or something. How far was that walk today, Keith? Oh, just under 14 miles. We haven't arranged any more as long as that. Oh, your legs will soon get used to it. Ah, right, there we are. She sell you some, Keith? Yes, nice lady. It's very cheap. She said this is the only accredited herd in the area. Funny to think, Keith, that milk you're holding came out of one of those cows only this morning. Hmm. Interesting to know which one. What does it mean, Keith? Well, it means the road to East and West Lulworth via Povington Hill is closed. Does that mean we can't go? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means it's spoiled the schedule. I planned to take 45 minutes along that road and now we're going to be late. Well, didn't uh, you know it might be closed? No, I didn't. Let's have a look at the map. Ah, got it upside down. You should pay attention, Candice Marie. Well, let's go somewhere else, Keith. Well, we can't go somewhere else. We're going to uh, Lulworth Cove today. It's on the schedule. Right. Let's go to Lulworth Cove tomorrow. We can't go tomorrow. We're going to a quarry tomorrow. Now, look at the map. Now, we're going over the hills to East Creech, Creech, East Home, up towards Dobra, and on the B3070 down to Lulworth Cove that way. <clears throat> don't you always have to stick to the schedule, you know, Keith? Well, there's no point in having a schedule if you don't stick to it. Practice them and do a bit down the heat. There's a dangerous bend, look at that. Keith, there if we, we didn't have an army, just think about it. Yes. The only reason we've all got armies is because yes. other countries have them. Oh, yes. And if we said, right, we'll be the first country to say yes. we're scrapping the army completely, yes. then everyone else might gradually follow suit. Yes. And then we'd have no wars at all and no trouble. Yes. And no killing. There are some maybe. very unscrupulous people about you now. I mean, we have to defend ourselves against the people who are less responsible than ourselves, especially those in civilian terms who take the law into their own hands. Hello! It's marvellous down here! The sea has worn through the limestone and formed an arch and it's pushed back the wheel of clay and it's a little cove, it's lovely! Don't come too near the edge! Candice Marie, you're standing on sedimentary limestone! It's been folded and it's in the shape of a stair! 
That's why it's called stair hole. There's a stair there and a hole down here. What? Can't hear you. Sorry, it's only a shower from low strata. It's pass over soon. Come on, the jump here. Working. What? Come on. Oh, come on, it's only a little jump. It's all right for you, kid. You're just washing your head. I can never keep up with you. Why don't you wait for me sometimes? Isn't it lovely, kid? Yes, yeah, splendid. It's choppy out to sea and it's calm inside the cove here. What are you doing? It's collecting some pebbles to take back. Well, you shouldn't do that, you know. Why not? Well, if everybody did that, there wouldn't be any pebbles left. Don't be ridiculous, Keith. Well, they wouldn't. There's thousands of pebbles on this I told you what happened at Brighton in Victoria's time. Look at that. People leaving their litter all over. The sea comes in. It's only low stratus that's moving across quite quickly. That poor chap. It's been so cute. Yes. We should give him a lift. Shall we? Yes. You want a lift? Well, if you're going near the campsite, yes, please. Studying up in London, you know. At university? No, teachers training college. Oh. Keith works for the social services, don't you, Keith? Oh, I. So it organises um, pensioners' holidays, meals on wheels, that sort of thing. Yeah. I work at a toy shop. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Ray. Well, that's Keith and I'm Candace Marie. Pleased to meet you. Nice, isn't he, Keith? Good job I wore my boots today, Keith. My feet would have got soaked. I'm going up west here for a walk. Excuse me, Ray. Sorry to trouble you, but I was uh, oh. just wondering if you'd like to have a look at the pebbles I've collected. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, do you want to come in? Mm, thank you. It's, uh, it's a bit cramped, you know, but it's all right, right? Mm. I was just drying up. Yes, I've had to change my trousers as well. <laughs> there you are. Mm, thank you. All right. Mm, it's nice, isn't it? Well, it's all right for one, you know. Mm. <clears throat> um, these are the pebbles I've collected. Oh. This one in particular is really nice. Yeah. Um, I was going to varnish it and then set it on a ring like that. That'll be nice. Lovely, that. isn't it? Yeah. Not too sure what it is actually. It might be, might have some uh, flint in it. I'm not yeah. sure. Well, Lovely. I'm not too sure either, really. I, mm. I'm only a sort of amateur geologist myself, right? but mm. uh, I got to do it as part of my course, you know. Oh, at college? Yeah, it's uh, it's part of my history course. I got to mm. do a thesis on uh, the geology of a certain area, like you know. It's not my main subject, like P is my main subject, but uh, mm. I've got to do history as a subsidiary mm. subject. Funny combination, isn't it? PE and history. Yeah, but mm. if I had my way, I'd just sort of do PE, but, you know, one of those things. Like... Mm. Oh, isn't that a lovely drawing? Yeah, it's a good book, that. Ancient Perpec. Lovely dinosaur on the mm. front. It's got everything, you know, history, geology, everything. Mm. Well, Keith would love this book. Well, you can borrow it if you want. Could I? Yeah. 
Just for a couple of days? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, look, there's <coughs> Elbeth Cove. <laughs> hmm. Have you been anywhere else? Well, I was thinking of going down to Cove Castle to take a look round, you know. Hmm, we were there the other day. It's lovely. Oh, yeah. Look, I've got a good idea. Why don't you borrow our Cove Castle guide, save yourself 20p, and then we can do a swap? Yeah, that'd be great. Yes, yeah, a good idea. Look, I'll pop that Cove Castle guide over in a couple of minutes. Right, OK. It's all right. Yeah, thanks a lot. Right, thanks very much, Ray. That's OK. See ya. at school, Keith, I was hopeless at maths. I, mean, I was only hopeless at maths because I wasn't interested in it, and it's the same with Ray. He hates geology and history, and his main interest is B, so why does he have to do another subject? Well, I don't know. Let's go and ask Ray, shall we? Keith, don't be silly. Let's ask Ray. Keith, don't be silly. Come along. Excuse me, Ray. Well, if you can help us with a little problem here. Candice Marie was wondering why, when you're doing one subject that you're happy with, why you have to do another one that you don't want to do at all. Well, apart from being a, uh, a requirement of the college... Like oh, that's a requirement of the college, Candice well, Marie. Right, there please. we are. Perhaps you'd like to sit here and talk to Ray about it, would you? Or would you like to come across to our tent and sit down and talk to Candice Marie? I'm sorry, Ray. Yeah, sure. I'm going for another walk. Do you want to come? No. And if you must know, Keith, I don't want to come on any more trips with you or any more walks. You're horrible to Ray. You must be really upset now. Anyway, Keith, instead of going for a walk, I think you should go across and apologise to him. And if I don't? Then I don't want to go on any more trips with you. Ray? What? I've come over to apologise. What for? Well, for what happened earlier. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Forget it. What did you say to him, Keith? I said I was sorry. What did Ray say? He said it didn't matter. Don't you feel better now you've apologised, Keith? Oh, yes. Much better. I knew you would. Hello! Hello there! We were wondering if you could have a look round your quarry. You want to buy some stone? Oh, you sell it here, do you? Yeah, it is a quarry. Oh, no, no. He we... just wants to have a look round. Ah, oh, it's OK. Main hall's over there. Oh, down that way? Yeah, just follow the tracks. All oh, right, thank you.
I call it all candies for eat. Well, there it is. The Purbeck Stone in situ, so to speak. Workies. Well, it's all around us. Portland Stone is further down. Look at the clay key. Well, don't get mud all over your boots. You're treading in the car. Can't help it in a quarry, Keith. Hello. Ah, you found it all right, then? Yeah, it's quite shallow, isn't it? I was expecting it to be deeper than that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, it's his dress wall in this. Oh, I see. Making a wall. Well, I'll dress in the stone. Oh, I see. Is it dangerous? Well, it is where you're standing. Oh, why's that? Well, the chips fly off, don't they? Oh, oh stand back, Caddy. Marie, stand back. It's dangerous, dear. Ooh, yeah, this is for a new post office in Corfe Castle. Oh, is it here that they're making a nice little post office? Mm. Um, excuse me, we were wondering if you uh, have got any fossils around that we could look at. Yes. Uh, pick up a stone. Go on, anyone, pick it up. Yeah, you have a look in there. Look, look at that. Seaweed. Isn't that lovely? Yes, yeah, lovely. Look at that. Uh, you found some seaweed, did you? Yes. Yeah, well, it is not seaweed, see? No, uh, what is it? It's manganese oxide. Well, it looks like a living organism to me. Yeah, most people think that. Oh, do they? Do you have any uh, ammonites? No. Got some dinosaur footprints. Have you? Where are they? Well, they come in the roach beds. We got some up last week. Oh, could we see them? Yeah, they're up by the shed there. All oh, right. Come along, Candice Marie. Thank you very much. Just by the path on the right. Thank you. Well, you could have one if you was interested. Oh, could we? Yeah, five pound. Oh, thank you. Look, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful, Keith? Yes. Millions of years old. Yes, a footprint of a pterodactyl only made possible because once upon a time this was soft mud. Look, it's the same length as my foot. I don't think you should do that, Keith. What? Well, that's millions of years old and you're putting your muddy old boots all over it. Well, it doesn't matter. It's dirty anyway. Do you find many of these? Yeah. Must be really exciting when you discover one. Well, when you find the first one, you know what it's all going to be. Oh, why's that? Well, he's walking across the mud, isn't he? Oh, I see. They all go in the same direction. Oh, well, yeah. Well, there's two of them on air. Good gracious. Look at that. One behind the other. Quite short strides. Well, they only had very short legs, Keith. Yeah, big bodies. Of course, they were vegetarians, weren't they? Mm. You want one of these, then? No, it's too large. I wouldn't be able to get it in the car. Well, there's some smaller ones over there. No, 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 no. It, uh, it's too much for the suspension. Might be able to get one of those very thin ones in, Keith. No, we've got too much equipment, Candice Marie. What kind of car you got? I've got a Morris Minor. I don't suppose you've got a really small fossil that we could buy? No, oh, it'll come this size. Of course, get one of them on a roof. Got a roof rack? No, no, no. It's a, it's a coupe, unfortunately. Never mind. At least we've seen them. Yeah. Well... Thanks very much, anyway. Right. right. Thanks very much. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> there we are. There's old Harry. It'd be lovely to have a photograph of the two of us in front of it, Keith, wouldn't it? Yes. Keith, when we get back to the campsite, um, shall I ask Ray to take our photograph? I'm sure your mother and Dennis would love a photograph of the two of us on holiday. It's a vertical chalk stack. Of course, at one time, the chalk stretched from here to the Isle of Wight, but the sea has eroded it away over the centuries. Froggy went a-courting and he did ride up uh, uh, Froggy went a-courting and he did ride up uh, uh, Froggy went a-courting and he did ride Sword and a pistol by his side uh, uh. Look at that lovely little robin up there. Oh, yes. 
Such a lovely. Keith. Hmm? Do you think it would be a good idea to ask Ray to come over now and take our photograph before it gets dark? Then perhaps you could have a nice cup of tea with us. I think that's a good idea, Keith. If you like. Yes, I'll go across and ask him then. Excuse me, Ray. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I was just wondering if you could do us a favour. Yeah. Would you mind coming across and taking a, a photograph of Keith and I? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks very much. And perhaps you'd like to have a cup of tea with us because our uh, kettle's on. Yeah, Are sure. you all right? Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks very much. Well, sorry, could you bring your own cup because we've only got two? Yeah. Hello, Ray. Hello. How are you? Fine, thanks. See you brought your own cup along. Sorry we've only got two. We weren't <laughs> expecting any visitors. Yeah. Sit yourself down. Thank you. I was just doing a spot of bird watching. Lovely to have the species all around you. We've got the observer book of birds. Not many birds down where you are. I suppose the tap frightens them away, does it? Well, uh, I have noticed really, you know. We're very lucky up here. We have the endymion, non scriptus, all around us, the bluebells. Where did you go today? Corf Castle. Uh, we went to Corf Castle on day two, didn't we, Candice mm. Marie? Splendid battlements. Uh, yeah. I did a painting of it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Would you like to show Ray your picture? I don't think Ray would be very interested. Oh, I'm sure you'd like to see Candice Marie's picture, wouldn't you, Ray? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, won't be a minute, then. I, uh, went to a quarry this afternoon. Oh, did you? That's a coincidence. We went to a quarry as well. There was a man there, chipping away at a wall. It's my picture, eh? Oh, this is Candice Marie's picture. It's a watercolour. Oh, it's nice art, isn't it? Do you have any art training? No. No, I just love to paint. Don't I, Keith? Hmm. I was never any good at it at school, you know? It's just a hobby, one of our many interests. Do you have any hobbies, Ray? Well, sport, really, you know. Oh, I saw you doing your exercises this morning. I follow the Royal Canadian Air Force system myself. Oh, yeah. You have a system? Well, I was just doing basic sort of rugby circuit training, really, you know. Yes, but is it a system? What do you mean, system? Well, is it tabulated? Do you time yourself? Well, you can do if you want to, you know, but I was just loosening up. Oh, I see. You see my maximum minimum thermometer over there? Oh, yeah. It's one of my instruments for logging the weather. Another one over here. This is a portable barometer. A bit like a travelling clock, really. A bit silly in the middle of the night if you wake up and want to know the time. Turn over and all you'll find out is whether it's fair or foul. Mm -hmm. uh, take sugar, eh? Yeah, two, please. Oh, it's only brown sugar. Is that all right? Sure, as long as it's sweet, you know. We don't keep the killer whites in our tent, do we, Canis Marine? No. White flour, white sugar. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realise the body doesn't need sugar, as most people know it breaks down carbohydrates into polysaccharides, which are natural sugars more easily absorbed by the body. We can get our sugar from fruit and honey. Glucose, sucrose and fructose. Did you know that, Ray? Yeah. Oh. Do you, uh, eat meat, Ray? Oh, yeah, I love meat. It's great. Candice Marie and I don't take it, do we? No. Um, Keith and I believe that it's inhumane to kill animals for food. Man is not a carnivore. He's naturally a frugivore. He eats fruit and nuts. Mm. It's interesting to note, Ray, that a carnivore's jaws move up and down like this, but a plant-eating animal and human beings' jaws also swing mm. from side to side like that. Yes, and a carnivore has a very short intestine, suitable for carrying the putrefying meat through the system, whereas a human being has a very long intestine, not suitable for that function at all. No wonder so many people have cancer of the bowel. Well, I don't know, a lot of athletes and sportsmen eat meat. They seem to do all right by it. Oh, yes, but it's a well-known fact, Ray, that a world champion marathon runner um, was a vegetarian, and he reckoned that it improved his running. Yes, a lot of famous people in history have been vegetarians. Leonardo da Vinci, Malcolm Muggeridge, and God said, Behold, I have given unto thee every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth. And every tree in which is the fruit of every tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat. Genesis chapter 1, verse 29. <clears throat> Do you mind if I smoke? 
Well... You do what you want to do, Ray. It's just that Keith and I believe that smoking damages your health. Well, never mind. You see, but you can't see the damage that it's doing. But if I could take one of your lungs now and put it on the table in front of you and cut it in half, I think you'd be absolutely horrified. You have to remember that the air polluted by one person has to be breathed by everybody else. Pollution is one of the great disasters of our age. I see running a car doesn't bother you much. Oh, I only use it for getting from A to B. Is that a banjo? Yes, that's one of our interests. I have a banjo and Candice Marie has a guitar. Would you like to show your guitar to Ray, Candice Marie? All right. Yes, as a matter of fact, we make up songs together. We went on a trip up to London one day last year and made up a song about going to the zoo. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, why not? All right. You have a girlfriend, uh, Ray? Pardon? Do you have a girlfriend? No. Oh, are you married? I can't afford it. <laughs> well, money isn't everything when you're in love. Is it, Candice Marie? No, Keith. Hmm. Well, I usually take the time from uh, Candice Marie, anyway. I want to see Candice you. Marie sings the uh, first and the third line, and then I come in with the second line, and we both sing the last line together. This is Candice Marie's first line. Hmm? I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. My line, I want to take you there, he said. I want to go with you. The line. Lions and the tiger Last zoo. line. I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. You sing, Ray? Well, I, uh, I chant a bit, you know. What, uh, madrigals? No. What sort of thing? Well, I, I don't think they'd be quite suitable here, you know. Shall we sing the second verse, Candice Marie? Yes. Slightly different from the first. Oh, sorry, yes. I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. I want to take you there, he said. I want to go with you. I'd be different lines here, you see. And up the tigers too. I wouldn't be afraid of everything if I did not have you. Yeah, I got the lines wrong there. They're slightly different from the uh, first. Okay. Now, would you like to join in, Ray? Well, I don't think so, really. Yes, come along. You can uh, sing the second and the fourth line with me, all right? I want to take you there, he said. I want to go with you. And then the last line is, I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. Now, I'll help you. All right, Candice Marie? I want to see Candice Marie's the zoo, first line. I want to take you there, he said. I want to go with you. That's it. I want to see. Here we are, Ray. Ready? And the tiger Here we are. Zoo. I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. Well done, Ray. It's lovely. Would you like to try it on your own? Do the... No, I don't. Yeah, see yeah do the last line. Yes. I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. All right, I'll help you. I want to take you there, he said. I want to go with you. I want to see Here we are, Lady Ray, coming up. Ready? Ready? Here we are. I want to see the zoo, she said. I want to see the zoo. That's very good, Ray. It's nice very voice, good. Ray. Do you want the photograph taken now? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Ray, yes. Have you taken a photograph before? Uh, yeah. All right, I'll just set the camera for you. Now. You stand there, Candice Marie. Further forward, further forward. That's it. Stand there, stay there. Now, the sun's over there. 11 feet should do it. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come along, Ray. Stand over here, on the line, that's it. Left foot forward more. Now, 11 feet, there we are. 
Now, look into the little black box. Can you see Candice Marie? Yeah. Good. Now, wait until I get over there, and when you can see us both in the little black box, press that button. Can you do that? Yeah. Good. Ready? Yes. Apron case. What? Still got apron on. Yes. Thank you, Ray. Did that very well indeed. Thank you very much, Ray. Actually, Keith. Yes. What would be really lovely is if we could take a picture of Ray. If that would be all right. Yes, if you want to. Do you want to have your photograph taken, Ray? I don't mind. Actually, Keith, what would be really nice is if you could take a picture of Ray and myself. Well, if you want to, where do you want me to take it? Outside Ray's tent? Oh, no, um, outside our tent. Our same place as us, if that's all right. You'd like to go and stand over there, Ray? Just come on, Ray. Good smile. Oh, come along. Say cheese. 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 Big cheese. Cheese. No, say big cheese. <laughs> big, big cheese. Oh, you can do better than that. Now, come along. One, two, three. Big, big cheese. Have you got your knife? It's great, isn't it? Put that for us, will you? For there. Pick it, isn't it? That's a bow. Great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right. Hey, Hunk. Hunk, on your head. Oh. Oh, oh, come on, get this in. Give us your helmet. Give us your own bleeding helmet. Hey, hey, just hold it. If I peg this out, hey, hold it, over. hold it, hold it. If I peg it out, it'll hold it up. Tent's falling down, Keith. Oh, it's fall over. Just hold it for us. Give us a hand. I can do that. <laughs> come on, you give us a hand. We can get inside. Here Oh, look at it, that ain't right. Bit of wind, it'll fall over. Won't. Honestly, it's a bleeding army tent, this is. Nothing will blow this over. That's it, it's great. Hey, Unc. 
Hunk, come in here. Oh, he's going over to help me tent up Keith. Keith! I think I've been out of room in here. Oh, they look good. Do you want hand? Oh, it's up now, Tar. You've, uh, you've got it inside out. Hi. That make no difference, does it? Well, see these things. They hold the tent up. Well, I thought this was the better side, like. Well, it's the inside. Come oh, well. on. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, looks like we got it the wrong way round. Uh, we better change it. I'll give you a hand. Ta. Yeah, I should be all right now. Ta, great. Hey, what do you do around here at night, like? I usually go down the pub in Cove Castle. Oh. Hey, we, I wouldn't mind doing that, would you, Unc? Mm. Nice point of draft. Ah, it's, it's a bit quiet around here, like, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm going down later. You can come along if you want. Oh, it'd be great. We'll do that, eh? Yeah. Ah. Well, uh, I'll be in my tent. Give us a shout when you're ready. Right. See ya. All right. Thank you. Oh, you ain't very big, is it? Don't matter, you'll be on your back anyway. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Right, game shot. Here, I'll get it for you. Yeah, I'll be here all night. Right, you give miss me it. So, you missed. Nearly. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Lucky darts, then, mate. <laughs> wow, that's talent. <laughs> That's it, then, it? another drink? Oh, oh. Well, bitter, is it? Oh, a pint, please. And Jean, uh, I've got enough, sir. For the bull, eh? Look at that, Keith. Mm. Mm, yeah. It's very funny. What are you reading, Keith? The Guinness Book of Records. It's the same the whole world over. It's, it's the, the poor against the blame. It's the rich that gets the pleasure. All right. Good night. Night, Keith. Just prudent. No. Why not? I'm tired. <laughs> There's that one about the, the cook, you know, making the apple pie. <laughs> he must have been army cook because there's this colonel there, like, you know. Yes. And uh, anyway, he was, uh, he got his teeth out yeah. and he was just putting all marks like round the pie, Patterns. you know. Oh, patterns, patterns around the pie. Oh, and the colonel says to him, he says, hey, uh, booth be or whatever his name was. He says, hey, haven't you got anything better to do that with? And he says, oh, but I'm saying that to make the holes in the donuts. <laughs> it's good, that. Yeah. Do you know the Irish intelligence test? No. What's that? Well, look, pick a finger. Go on, any finger, pick a finger, right? All right. Right. Now I'm going to jumble them all up, and I want you to tell me which finger you picked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> no, that's the one so funny. I'm in the building trade. Oh, yeah, doing what? Plasterer. That's good money, you know, isn't it? That's great. Very much work about that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they ain't building no bleeding houses. <laughs> what do you do, Anki? Work in an office. What, clerk or something? Yeah, it's a civil service. In clerical office, mm. Sits on her ass all day. <laughs> I don't. Well, I had ACPE when I was at school. What, too energetic or something? <laughs> well, I liked it, I did. You know, football and all that. Yeah. Better than lessons. <laughs> hey, we'll have a kick round tomorrow, shall we? Yeah, great, any time, yeah. Ah. Don't kick and go and go. <laughs> <laughs> what, what team do you support, Birmingham or Villa? Birmingham. A good side. Yeah, done all right this season, isn't he? Yeah. 
Well, they shouldn't have sold Latchford, though, you know. That's where they went wrong. They got no strength in depth, you know, and they had a lot of injuries and that, yeah. and it's, it's sort of weakened their side. But they're doing all right. How do you reckon their chances in the cup? I reckon they'll win. <laughs> I'd like rugby myself, you know. Don't like rugby. Christ. Is Somebody? that you? What? Oh, God, oh, let's get oh. out. Oh, oh, Don't with me. Don't me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God. Silent killer. Oh, <laughs> you didn't, no, you didn't like it. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's only about that, John. Oh. Hey, don't wait for me. Oh. We're going then, John. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Ta -da. Hey, oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh. Oh, God, I hey, I can't sleep. Oh, is it, Keith? Hey, what happens if we get the wrong tent? This is it. Look, here's the bike. Oh, Christ. What? <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind making less noise, please? Shh. <laughs> I'm going to have a piss. It's not taking any notice, Keith. It's just on you completely. It's a bit low. I'm coming in. I'm coming in on the top. Oh no. No. Oh. oh. Be quiet. Shh. Let's get a pillow sorted out and eh? move your head. See, it's made no difference, Keith. But there's all creepy crawlies all over the place here. Uh, <laughs> running up your trouser leg. <laughs> She's a hill wig. Oh, get off! <laughs> get off a damn light, eh? <laughs> Your old man's hand. Oh, stop it! What time is it, Keith? Must be ever so late. Look! This is a tent! I am in a tent! The walls of a tent are thin! I can hear everything you're saying. Now be quiet! Get back to bed! And you get back to your tenements! Oh, tenements? Oh, come on, turn it up. I thought it was coming through the plate in the roof. Scared the life out of me. I think they've stopped, Keith. Better have been a dull minute. My oh, guts is terrible this morning. Oh. It's strong beer, that, innit? Ah, gets you ready and all, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a good night, though. Yeah, it was all right. Oh, all right, I reckon. Uh, do you want to go? I'm going to put my jack suit on in a minute. Oh, yeah. My feet are soaked. <laughs> it's wet, innit? Yeah, well, it's always like this early morning. I thought it'd been raining. <laughs> ah, it's a dew. Bleeding everywhere, aren't they? <laughs> did you get it? Yeah. What's that, is it? Yeah, it's okay. Did you drink that? Well, it's out the tap, like. Yeah, looks a funny colour in the bag. You got everything in your eye. Oh, not quite. That gas? Yeah. Clever, innit? Do you want some coffee? Oh, no, I wouldn't say no. You got any cups? Yeah. Hey, Unc! Unc, come over here. John's gonna make us some coffee. I reckon you got a bleeding cheek, that geezer. Yeah. I mean, we wasn't making much noise. I think he's a bit of a nutcase. To the bog. 
Come along, the kettle's boiling. All right, cute. You want your tea now or when you come back? Oh, when I come back. Morning. 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 Social, Busy without blader. Mm. Morning. Morning. Excuse me, excuse my towel, please. What are you doing? Mind your own business. You're not making a fire, are you? What's it got to do with you? Well, I just remind you that open fires are not allowed here. Who said? When you arrived at the campsite, you were issued with a card. I want. I think you must have been because Miss Beale gives everybody one. <laughs> she didn't give us one, did she? Yes, it's just like an ordinary white postcard with the address of the campsite on the front and a list of ten rules on the back. And rule number one is no open fires. I'm gonna get some green stuff. Get it going. You're being very silly, you know. Because if you do light an open fire, then you're going to get thrown off the campsite. Now don't be silly. No, but you mind your own bleeding business. It is my business. My business is to protect the life of the countryside and our heritage. Now, you don't seem to be aware of those things, so I'm advising you as to the extent of your responsibilities. You shouldn't be breaking those branches and you shouldn't be making a fire. Gotcha, Monk. Now, I don't want to get you into trouble, but if you go on with this, I shall have to go and tell Miss Beale. You can tell her you're bleeding well like. All right, if that's the way you want it. Are we supposed to cook our dinner then? You can have a cold dinner. We've got sausages. Well, you shouldn't be eating sausages. Why not? Well, quite apart from the toxic substances in the meat, there are quite a few harmful additives and preservatives in the sausage. I don't think you realise how dangerous an open fire can be. I mean, for one thing, you could easily set fire to your tent. Wait, it's our tent. Miss Beale doesn't seem to be around, and so I'm assuming responsibility. Oh, but you didn't look for her, did yes, you? Yes, I did, and she's not there. Now, stop what you're doing. No! What a bloody nerd you think you are? I'm a good citizen who's aware of his responsibilities. You're a bloody comedian, mate. No, I'm not. Now, stop what you're doing. No! Look, I paid my money. You've got no right to come telling me what oh, to do. Oh, I've got every right. I have the power to arrest you if I wanted to. Now, stop making that fire. You copper. No, but every citizen has the right to arrest another citizen who's breaking the law. Now, be told. What law am I breaking? You're breaking the laws of the campsite and the laws of the country code. Now, I don't want to have to use force. You yeah. are. Put the stick down. No? Oh, come on. <laughs> What are you going to do about it, didn't I? Just put the stick down. Just leave it. You want to fight? I'm going to oh, be told! You've touched me, I'm going to bleed kill you. Now look, I don't want to fight you. I just want to tell you that you shouldn't... Please look, keep away from me! Alone. I just want you to stop making the fire and stop breaking those branches. Come on, Finger, I'm leave it alone. Come on, hit me! Come on! No, no, I'm not going to. Get away from me! I'll knock your head off! Get back! I'm warning you! You'll knock me your head off! I'll knock your head off! You come on there if you want to fight! Come on there if you want to fight! I'll give you come a on, Come on! 
Come on, let's fight. Come on, I'll knock your head off. Don't touch me, mate. Oh, finger just slip. Oh, put it down. Come on, then. Come on. What about it, eh? I'll knock your head off. Come on, then. Come Look, on. you get your geezer over here, so I'll kick this bloody table over. Keith, Keith, she's got a knife and she's going to kick the table over. Get away from there! Oh, get back! You get back! Finger! Finger, get over here! Hey, bloody you about that, did he? Oh, shut up! Hey, bastard! Bloody well crying now. Oh, shut up. Bloody well crying. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm only trying to advise you for your own good. <laughs> you want to get him locked up, missus? Wait, what about that, Keith? I'm going for a walk. <laughs> I didn't want to come here in the first place. She so marry you. You're bloody nutty. You could have killed me, you oh, know. All right, all right. Hey, could he done? Oh, right. Come back. Someone's bloody locking up. Oh, shut up. He's coming back. I'll kick, kick his head in. Oh, shut He could have killed me yeah, then. all right, all right. They could. All right. You knocked me bleeding head off. Give me some match. Leave it alone. No! Just leave it. Go give some match. Great, isn't it? Mm. It's a bit of fat there, yeah. I better kick that off. Oh, what? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> the cowboy breakfast. Are you not hungry, you? Hey, there's John. Hey, John. Hey, John, come over here, I want to tell you something. Come here. Got it going, then. Yeah. Hey, come here, I want to tell you. It smells all right, that, doesn't it? Just had a punch up with the guy next door. What, fist and that? No, he come at me with a breathing great stick. Bloody hell, what was all that about there? Tried to stop me lighting the fire. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Mind you, he's cracked. He starts crying over there. Oh, what was she doing, like? She locked herself in the tent. <laughs> it was a pity that I missed out on all the fun, didn't I? Oh, it was great, wasn't it, Junk? Mm. Oh, well, see ya. Right, come along, Candice Marie, we're leaving. Leaving, Keith? Yes, leaving, come on. Have they got two tents there? Yeah. One is for the other. Yeah. I'm gonna try and find Miss Wheel. You wait here. Excuse me, Ray. Oh. Uh, we're going to try and find another campsite. Oh. So I just thought I'd bring your ancient Purbeck back. Oh, thanks very much. Um, well, I've got your Cove Castle guide, haven't I? Yes. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, uh, thanks oh. for the lend. Thanks very much. Well, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Yeah, and you. Uh, I hope mm. you find somewhere nice, you know. Yes. OK, well, cheerio, then. Yeah, ta -ra. Yes, I have read the rules of the campsite. It also says that if exceptional circumstances exist, then perhaps some grounds may be found for a refund. Five pounds is a lot of money. I'm afraid you'll have to see my father about that. And when will he be here? He'll be in tomorrow morning, any time before ten o'clock. All right, thank you.
down to Swanage. Do you want to get the bus and come down? Nah, it's too far. What are you doing to know then? I'll probably go down the village later, you know. Oh, OK. Well, hey, we could have a drink on the way back. All right, then. I'll see you down okay. there, right? Yeah? Hey, what about them, mate? Oh, come on. All right, guys. Well, they're fucked, you know. No. 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 We'll be people about it, isn't there? Yeah. Right, see you anyway. Hello. This is Radio 1 and Radio 2. Wouldn't it be lovely, Keith, if we were gypsies? Like in the old days. We had a lovely painted caravan and we could just stop wherever we wanted. Yeah, I suppose we could stay in a bed and breakfast if the worst came to the worst. One with a thatch roof, Keith. It doesn't really matter what kind of roof it has, so long as it's got one. Good afternoon, officer. Oh, Hello. you sure, Pastor? Yes. Number, sir? 5142BY. Do you want to see my documents? Yes, please. What's this then? Oh, that's our camping equipment. Um, musical instruments and food larder. Yes, leave it to me, Candice Marine. What are you telling him, Keith? Licence, insurance, MOT and AA membership. Your name, please, sir? Keith Pratt. Address? 37, Valemore Road, Croydon, Surrey. We were just looking for a campsite. Yes, we were forced off the other one. Leave it to me, Candice Marie. We've been to two, but they weren't suitable. The uh, insurance expires on the 26th of August and the MOT on the 3rd of April. Drop the boat, please, Keith. All that kind of marine. You drive, do you? No. I'm going to take lessons, though. Mm. What's this, then? Well, that's our camping equipment. Uh, Tent there. No, that, that's the tent. That's the uh, fly sheet. Well, don't still. take it out, Candice Marie. Uh, the sleeping bag there. The camping gas. The table there. What about this then? What's that? A tyre. As bald as a baby's bum. Isn't that Keith? Oh, yes, Keith, so it is. You realise that's an offence, sir? Get that changed as soon as possible, if I was you. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind sitting in the car, please? You see out your rear view mirror, sir? Boots up. If the boot wasn't up, could you see out? Yes. You make sure you don't put anything on that back seat. Oh, I usually keep it clear. So that could be an offence as well, you know. All right, then off you go. Hold that in, sir. Thank you. Fancy a roll in the hay, then? No, oh, thanks. Oh, please yourself. By God, if I had any hay, you'd be bloody grateful. Hundred quid a ton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, best I can offer you is 40 quid's worth of lazy old wheat straw. Take it or leave it. I think I'll leave it. Fertiliser bags. All plastic, very fertile. Hey, hey. What every year? Hello. Hello. I'm looking for somewhere to camp. Uh huh. Well, we're wondering if it's possible to camp here. Yeah, it's possible. You see, it's getting rather late and we've got to find somewhere. Yes. Well, there's a field up behind those sheds. It's all yours if you want it. Do you have any facilities? None whatsoever. I'm not a campsite. I haven't got a license. There's water up there, tapped by the water trough. And there's a wood on the other side if you need a shit. I'll let you have a spade. Oh, I have my own spade, thank you. Oh, jolly good. How much do you charge? Well, shall we say 25p? That's very reasonable, Keith. Is it uh, payable in advance? Payable any time you like. Thank you very much. Well, you can run your car straight up there and close the gate behind yes. you. Yes. Well, we always obey the country code. Bye-bye. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Been mountaineering, then? Uh, no, they're just ordinary walking boots. Right, thank you very much. Lovely. Sort of colours refracted in the cloth. Hmm. I remember when I was at school, Keith, yes. we were about five. Yes. And the teacher asked us to bring in some long chiffon scarves. Yes. And then she put on some music. And yes. we all had to sort of dance about like this yes. and pretend to be fire and water and wind. Yes, different elements. Yes, that's right. Sort of expressing the music. Yes. It's a shame when we reach adulthood the way we lose a childlike wonder in the Elements, mm. the universe, the joy of life. Listen to that, Keith. What? Isn't that lovely? The guitar. Oh, yes, it's playing itself. It's just the wind just drifting through. Sort of really magic sound, isn't it? Yeah, it's in harmony with the birds. <laughs> Get up. 